that. Expensive, unclean, CO2 emissions. A clean environment is becoming an important and critical subject under the big threat of an unstoppable increasing population. With more people comes more demand for daily transportation. Our limited supply of oil is declining at an exponential rate. Would you think it's possible if we said that instead of wasting $60 of gas per week in your car, you could simply pay a dollar a day of electricity? A new project is underway called the IMEV. The Mitsubishi Innovative Electric Vehicle introduces a new partnership between Mitsubishi and Hydro-Quebec. So what's your name? My name is Danny Lemelin. I am a president. I'm an owner of the business, Boucherville Mitsubishi. Can you tell me uh, what stage you're at right now uh, in, the, in the project? The first step is uh, in December, delivery five unit, for the, two for the city hall, two for the uh, uh, Pierre Boucher, for, uh, and uh, one for Hydro-Quebec. Future plans for your project? This uh, spring, uh, I have uh, I delivery uh, 15 unit for uh, 13 uh, company. The area. As for the charging stations, um, do you know if there's any around Montreal and uh, any that's going to be supplied around Quebec? Any anything like that? Right now, uh, Sheraton Center in Montreal have uh, the place to uh, recharge the car. Every uh, customer used with this project have a, a plug uh, at home and uh, at, at work. And uh, the next year, probably uh, Hydro Quebec put uh, probably the the public station uh, in the city of Boucherville. Do you think it's possible for this project to succeed? Yes, I'm sure it's a, a success because the the, the 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 people want electric car now. And uh, the gas price increase uh, week after week, and uh, the, at this time, uh, the, the customer come to have a car, uh, economic car, and uh, electric car is a good uh, good idea right now. We interviewed Sylvie Angi, a civil technician for the city of Boucherville. She is currently one of the five testers for the IMEF project, and has a highly positive attitude towards the vehicle. She travels to work and back every day with this innovation. Okay, here is the car that is actually on. Do you hear anything? She encountered zero problems and wants to buy her own once it is on market. The IMEF takes around 12 hours for a full charged battery on a normal 120 power outlet and around 6 hours on a 240 outlet. There will also be more and more charging stations supplied around Quebec that take 30 minutes to charge 80% of the battery. The price of the IMEF has been recently fixed at $20,500 after factoring the government rebate of $7,500. Wait, no, it's, it's not. So professional. Uh. <laughs> okay, now it's working. Hi, I'm here with, uh, what's your name? Astrid. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry. <clears throat> I swear I wasn't laughing at your name. So we just want to know your opinion on electric cars. Oh, I think that it's a great advancement in our society. Yeah. It saves the planet. Less pollution. Less pollution. But that would make, like, your electricity bill higher. Right? Right. There's always, like, a, a, like, an offside to something, you know? What do you think of electric cars? They're... Cool. <laughs> They're cool. Like race cars, like those little like no, uh, like electric. Cars. Oh, I think it's a good investment. I mean, uh, guys, prices going up like that. I, you know, I think you know, getting electric cars is a good thing. Oh, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. In a um. I don't know. You're trying to sound smart on camera. It's <laughs> no, not no, working. But I want what do you think of electric cars? Um, I think they're a good idea. Just a good idea. Can you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah. I you know how like cars these days are polluting the planet, so electric cars is good. You know. Yeah, yeah. Electric cars is the future. Uh, it's the only thing we can rely on nowadays. 
uh, the, the old get the old prices goes up uh, and uh, it's kind of hard to like afford a car. If uh, electric cars turned out to be the same price as uh, gas cars, which one would you take? I'll still take gas. Why? Is that a serious question? Why? And if they were, uh, I don't know, twice the price of uh, gas cars? Uh, maybe that would change your mind a little bit. Are you planning on having like a good future with lots of money? Yes. <laughs> so if uh, lots of money, it would be uh, good for an electric car? Yeah. Okay, well, so you're, you're going to school, you're planning on having a good future. Do you think you're uh, going to have enough uh, money to buy an electric car? Well, maybe like in 10 years or something like that. In 10 years? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Everybody's going to be dead in 10 years. Yeah. Electric cars is the future. Listen, listen to me, buddy. Would you like watching a Formula One uh, race with electric cars? Yeah. You serious? Be less noisy. Okay. Like electric cars were uh, probably twice the price of uh, gas cars. Who would you support? Electric cars, maybe. Because yeah. gas, you're buying gas like almost every week. In the long run, you're going to buy, you're going to pay more on gas than the actual car. Okay, do you think they should have like an outlet inside the car for like curling irons and stuff like that? No. For curling, like, to your hair, no. <laughs> it's an accident waiting <laughs> yeah. to happen. Um, no, because then you're just going to waste the battery. You just might as well just do it at home. I wouldn't feel comfortable like knowing that I'm driving my car and doing my hair at the same time. Curl your hair on the drive, like on the, on the go. While driving, yeah. I think for the safety is not really a good idea, but... So kind of like texting and driving is a bad idea? Texting is super bad, yeah. So the whole point of going and watch the F1 is to hear the noise, to hear the, the motor go. No, you see crashes, crashes are cool. Not that you see in NASCAR, I'm talking about the F1. What comes to mind when I say the word green? It's just the color, so we're just kind of associating it with helping the earth. Uh, your t-shirt? My shirt. We just finished talking about electric cars and the environment. And you say my shirt. Money. <laughs> Money. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. What comes to mind when I say the word green? Green? <laughs> uh, grass. Yeah, I don't know. These <laughs> cars uh, These cars, uh, they tend to be like smaller. So that means like uh, no action in the back seat, if you know what I'm saying. What do you think about that? What's wrong with that question? Do you think it would be possible to get like a, an electrical shock from these electric cars? No. No, but they're electrical. I mean like no action in the back, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, that's a big uh, point there. You have to consider that. And you, you're as good Doesn't really matter. Well, uh, I don't know if you guys are uncomfortable right now, because I'm, I'm like totally comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm not hot right now. Let's go next question. I don't have a next question. Electric shock? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, if it drives through a puddle or something like that. If you drive through water, maybe. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah? I don't think it works like that. I'm not sure, but I'm, <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Like, uh, you're like, you're taking another lap turn! Like, now it's car. No, no, I'm talking about uh, F1, where there's actually, you know, good rights and, you know, right turns, left turns. Okay, go on with the next question. Do you have a car? No, I don't. Do you have a license? No, I don't. So what do you think of uh, electric buses? Electric cars is the future. <laughs> can't have it, can't have it any other way than that. Can I have a hug? I do hug. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>